What is going on guys, Cody Bogue back here. And today I'm just gonna be telling y'all what happened last night when I was asleep. All right, so last night I came out here and checked on my rabbit and it was fine. It was just sitting in there hopping around everywhere like he normally does. And then today I just come out here and then this is what it looks like. Something has done jumped up here. Pretty good ways. Something has done jumped up here. There's a few scratch marks right there. So, and there's a bunch right there. You see that? I just now noticed that. Bunch right there. So he's been trying to get up here some. And it wasn't my dogs because there's no way my dogs can get up there. Because they're real big dogs. German Shepherds and stuff. There's no way that they could have possibly jumped up there and got up there. And then opened that door right there. And then ate more than half of my rabbit. And then that's just crazy. There's no way it did that. So this is really what happened. Whatever it was, it jumped up there. And it was smart enough. This door, where I literally don't want to open the door. I mean, yeah, I don't want to touch it. The door was shut. And then there was this screwdriver in a hole holding it i haven't looked at it yet so it was holding through the holes right there so but whatever this was it was smart enough to get it out throw it on the ground and then open that door and then kill the rabbit so the rabbit was sitting right there i pushed it earlier it was sitting right there in its normal spot where it always is but um it pushed the door bent it up pretty bad that door is ruined and then he didn't eat all the rabbit he just ate about half of it so since he ate half of it, we're going to try to catch him tonight. I fooled last night and he'll be coming back for more. If that, if whatever it is, it looks like a possum. The fur looks like a like possum. Like I said, it's a pretty big trap, so we should catch whatever's in it. Okay, so we're here, but the only, the only reason I want to catch this thing is because it killed my rabbit I'm trying to train my dogs with. So I'm not too very happy about it. And also, whatever it is, I have more of a chance than catching it than these rabbits. But there it is right there. Got it all covered up. Got some apples there in the back. Hold on. Sorry, rabbit. I wasn't going to kill you anyway. I don't know why you just go in there. But, um, we'll get to the house and then set it and then I'll show you Big trap. Plenty big for what we're trying to catch. But, um, like I said, it couldn't be no kind of dog. See, it's plenty big. It'll catch a hoon or a possum. But let's just show y'all how it works. But what you do, you just slide up and get that pellet gun out of the way. This ain't my pellet gun. This is... Charge the battery is low. Charge the battery is low. Charge the battery is low. Battery is slow. What the crap? I forgot all about that. Yeah, I still got that on. My little Bluetooth speaker I got for Christmas. Let's just turn it off. I forgot all about that. Back to what I was saying. Push this up. It's kind of hard to do it while you're videoing, but you push that up. So anyway, I got those two rings on each side, pushed them all the way up so I could hold the door up. And then I got that, which is the trigger, holds to that. And I put it behind that so it'll hold the door up. And all they gotta do is walk back there and stuff on the trigger and it shuts. So it's set now. Now let's just go back to the house and then put the rabbit in the very back. Because they can't get that rabbit without tearing that wire up. That's a pretty strong wire, so we're gonna go back. Oh, uh, there's ants all in that. No wonder we ain't catching no rabbits. But, um, we probably should have took the apples out before we set it. We'll probably do that and reset it, but let's just We are going to cut its feet off so that we can just play around with the puppies and tie it to a string, you know. It'll be good for them, so. We're going to tie their, cut their feet off, and then play around with the puppies that we get soon, and we're going to set the sucker. All right, so we got it set. We got the rabbit's feet off over there in the range. We're going to go play with the puppy for a little bit. And then we got this table that was sitting right there. We got it up there because we really didn't want him to get up there on that side because, you know, there's a back right there and he would try to get in from the back and he might hit it hard enough and it might just set off. We got him a spot where he can just get up here and then crawl on top of this and then just get in there easily. And if he jumps in there hard enough and fast enough, he'll already be caught. But, I mean, if he just puts his hand on there real heavy... Like that, and sniffs around, he won't get caught. So, I mean, I think it'll be good. I think we should catch something, or if he's just full, but we got it pushed away from this side, so we can't get it. And he more than likely won't try to get in from the back. So, the only way he'll get in there and get that rabbit from the front, so. 
got that thing set trigger. I mean, even if he does reach over the trigger and don't step on the trigger, he's going to set off the trap because he's got to pick that rabbit up from the trigger. That rabbit's going to rub on the trigger when he picks it up. So We'll see y'all tomorrow. We should have something caught. Did not catch nothing. What's up, guys? Cody Bogue back here. It's the next day. It's the next day. It's the next day. It's the next day. It's actually the next day. We're just going to go fishing. Maybe we'll catch something in the video. I don't know. But today we got old Noah Engel and Daniel Conley with us. Add them on Snapchat. So, Noah, what bait are you using? Spinner bait. Might not good pink lemonade. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Turn that freaking crap down. I'm trying to get some bumping going. We're in the old Ford today. Daniel's out there airing the tire. Getting tired, getting ready for us to go out there to the big pond to go fishing. Y'all know over here trying to play some jams. Alright, we're here at the pond. We're about to uh, cut this fell out. We're about to get our fishing pole ready. Look on what's right here. I'm about to there's no catches. Oh, you finna finally get home. Alright, we got it good now. Walk over. <laughs> so this Cody is the same thing. Let me really. Hurry up, Maria. Yo, this thing takes forever anyway. <laughs> it's like, like 30 years. Well, it's coming handy, boys. What's it not even show me? Well, no luck. 